Hello, YouTube viewers. I'm Sandalwood99, and welcome to the first of a series of board game reviews. Um, these are going to be created because A, I'm rather bored, and B, because I've been watching a, a few reviews by HistoryGamer.com and some strategies for good board games, and uh, feel like I, uh, I should tackle a board game review. So this first one's called Mall of Horrors. It's a, a zombie apocalypse type game. It was a little bit different than Last Night on Earth or uh, Zombies, if you played that game. So we'll take a look at it. Uh, obviously, you play as a team of survivors, three different times, a um, gun guy who gets extra votes, one extra vote, a big muscly guy who can hold off two zombies instead of one, and a pinup girl who screams at extra, sorry, zombies. I know the game's kind of sexist, but get over it. Anyways, um, there are five locations, and uh, each location can only hold a number of people based on this this uh, thing right here. And um, basically, every turn, zombies are spawned, and characters move around. And if zombies, if the zombies outnumber the number of people at a location, they break in, and then all the characters there vote on who gets thrown to the zombies. So, uh, we'll set up a game here. Every, uh, to set up, you roll two dice and, uh, put one of your characters at one of these locations. So, I would have to put one of my ca characters at six or four, and you keep going around the circle until everyone's placed all their characters. So, I've already done that, and I'll take you through a basic turn. The first thing that happens is, uh, every character who's in the parking lot gets one vote as to who gets to search the truck for weapons. So as you can see, the blue player has one, the red player has one, the gr and the brown player actually has three, because she has one, and he has two. So obviously, um, there's some alliances, you know, these two players could try to vote together, but uh, because he, he has three, he's still going to get to search the truck. So he draws three cards, and he looks at them, it's a sprint, hardware, and another sprint. So, uh, he'll keep this one, and then he gets to give one away. Well, he'll give one to yellow, just because. So he'll give that hardware to one, and then this this last one goes back to the bottom of the pack. And uh, now what happens is every character in the security headquarters gets to vote on who becomes the new head of security. And so the red player has two votes, and the blue player has two here, plus this one is three. So the blue player is going to be head of security. You know, at the beginning of the game, sorry about my phones, but um, at the beginning, at the beginning of the game, most people will be uh, voting for themselves. But as the game kind of goes on, you'll start making alliances and things like that. You know, you'll say things like, hey, I'll vote for you to be head of security if you give me an item or something like that. I don't know. Or if you promise to vote for me later. Anyways, so um, what happens then is whoever gets head of security gets this neat little badge, and then they take this box, put it over the, the dice, shake them up, and everyone else selects a location where they want to move. I'll just do this really quickly. Like, uh, he'll pick three. Red will pick. Yeah, one. Yellow will pick. Yeah. Three. But before Blue gets, has to make his decision, he can look here at these dice, and they show him where the zombies are going to appear. So, as you can see, there's going to be one, two, three zombies appearing at the security headquarters, and one at three. And so he decides, I'm going to move to three. He reveals his location. He picked three, so he moves any one of his characters to three. Brown picked three, so he'll move this person to three. Red picked one, move her to one. And yellow picked three. Um, so he'll move this guy up there. Now remember, if, uh, they tr tr if a person is trying to move to a s room, that is at the maximum capacity, as indicated by these pins. They have to move a character to the parking lot. 
So now what happens? They reveal. We place these zombies. One, two, three. One and three. And then whichever place has the most people uh, attracts an extra zombie. And whichever place has the most pinup girls, which in the case is also three, also attracts a zombie. So as you can see, the pinup girls aren't good to have around. Anyways, and so then you check to make sure that all the locations are secure and that there are more people than there are zombies. And uh, if they aren't, then they break in. And uh, people can use weapons to kill the zombies, or, and then that will might lower the total back to where they're safe again. Or they can not use items and just uh, vote on who gets thrown out of the zombies. And uh, it's, a, it's actually a very, very good game. There, uh, there are some problems. Uh, most of the time, what ends up happening is, like, right here, no one's there, and there's two zombies here, so no one's probably ever going to go there, and this is just going to become a dead zone really quickly. And then, usually what happens is these three right here become dead zones very, very quickly, or these three. And so you end up just having these three locations with a lot of characters, and so there's not a lot to do for a while until characters start getting eaten and caught. And then there's more room to move around. But, um, as I said before, one of the great parts about the game is the, is the backstabbing. I love backstabbing games. Um, like I said, you know, um, if they're uh, in a position where... Uh, let's take this yellow guy. So yellow has two votes, brown has two votes, and red has one vote. Red might say to brown, hey, I'll vote for you, but in exchange you have to give me an item. So, well, you know, whatever. Brown takes the three items, keeps one, but then gives one to blue, you know. And, uh, that's just all part of the fun of Mall of Horrors, really, because it's all... Survival is in the betrayal, which is what it says on the board. I mean, on the box. Um, uh, the game ends when there are only four individual characters left, and then you get points. See, uh, this pinup girl is worth seven points, which is why she attracts extra zombies, because she's worth so many points if she's alive at the end. So you will want to try to keep her alive. Uh, I don't know, well, it's up to strat. It's up to your personal strategy. I, for one, in my experience, it just, it's much better just to get her off, because the game becomes very, very cutthroat toward the end, and you're going to need the extra votes and the extra manpower of your uh, gun man and your muscle guy. And so this pinup girl, even though she is worth seven points, and if I have played a few games where someone has kept her alive at the end and uh, won because of it, because she is worth almost as much as the other two combined, in my, just in my experience, it's much better to kill her off rather than lose the extra power. Oh, if you're only playing with three players, everyone gets this additional character, this little girl who's worth one point and has no special power. Now, if, that, if you're playing with three people, um, she is so useless. Just get her, uh, let her get eaten. If, uh, I mean, unless you can save her with a card, then you might want to do that, but she's uh, not worth it. I mean, some people, some of my friends are like, oh, I don't want to kill her, she's just a little kid. Uh, but you know what? It's a board game. She's a wooden disc with a sticker on it bump her off if you need to. I don't feel bad about it. Anyways, uh, yeah, Mall of Horrors. It's a, a definite, definite recommend for uh, zombie fans, for uh, friends of strategy games. I mean, there's luck with the dice, you know, where the zombie's going to spawn. But um, obviously, if you manage to secure the security headquarters, early in the game. I mean, all you need is two characters in it, like this blue player has, and then your third character can bop around avoiding the zombies because um, they know where they all are. Uh, you can survive really well. The other way to do it is monopolizing the items in the parking lot. Those are the two rooms to monopolize. If you don't have any of those and you don't got an ally to help you out, you are in serious trouble. But it's... Uh, it's a really fun game. The, uh, the zombie pieces, eh, they're very generic. 
and you can if you can't see but you can look you can kind of see a little bit of stomach goo coming out you can't see in the video but i can see um i guess if you're bored of them all looking the same you could paint them but i'm not that creative um the people like i said they're wooden discs but i think it works for what they are the artwork in the room and the board itself is beautiful and uh if a location has eight or more zombies with no people inside it gets closed off with these neat little cards so it's a very high quality game really fun uh again the more the merrier uh, the game, it's very different depending on how many people you have. You have three people, and it just, it becomes, it's more every man for himself, and trying to, more more of a power struggle. If you have a whole bunch of people, what happens is you'll end up having alliances. I played, I played a game where it almost off the bat became, uh, guys versus girls, and, uh, two female players had monopolized the parking lot and I had monopolized the security headquarters and was showing it showing my the dice to the uh, other guys and uh, I don't know in the end it, uh, it all falls apart all alliances you have just they just fall apart later in the game because as much as you value your teammates you value generally you value your own life more and you just you let them eat your friends if the time need to be yeah, that, that didn't make sense, but if the need be. So, overall, I uh, never rated a board game before, but I think I might have to give this one 8 out of 10. It's uh, difficult to find. I had to buy it online, which makes me sound like a huge nerd, but it's, it's definitely worth it. Pick it up if you can. See ya.